Hello. It's been a while. We've had a little break, haven't we? We had a little holiday. Did lots of walking, lots of drawing, just chilling out. So, welcome. As I usually say, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending where you are. Now, today's art lesson is based on my favourite story. It's from when I was young, when my kids were young, and I still love it. Alma by David McKee. Now, I just adore the artwork. I'm not going to read it today. I decided I found a video with David reading it. He is the author and the illustrator. He did all the artwork. So I thought it was pretty special that the person who created it read it. So I'm going to attach that to the end of this. But this is my favourite page. Rubes, can you zoom in here? Of the story. And when my kids used to um, read it with me, we used to spend a lot of time choosing our favourite elephant, which elephants, patterns we loved the most. So that's what today's activity is based on. Napoleon, which one do you like? Nee? Which elephant do you like? Hmm? Boo. All right, so that's what it's based on today. So in the story also, they talk about all the different elephants. And I'm going to show you how to draw a basic elephant. I've had so much fun today just drawing lots and lots of elephants and painting lots of patterns on elephants. So we're going to go through just a basic, it's really very simple, and then all the different sorts of elephants in the show. You're right, Nip, you can't get comfortable. I don't know whether having your back to everyone is, let's spin you around. There we go. It's a bit rude otherwise. All right, so I'll just close that for now. Rubes, do you want to zoom in over here? And let's have a go at drawing a basic elephant. Okay, so around there. Curved back. Now, remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. They're all different. Now, David does a little triangle for the tail. Yeah, and I've got nice big feet. Tummy. Another foot. Down. Trunk. Every time I draw it, it's different. Around. And then the mouth. Oh, that's a weird one. But that's okay, because they're all different. Oh, here's a funny one, Rubes. Let's give another go. <laughs> I don't know where my... Oh, don't tell me. I know, whiteboard marker. All right, let's try another one down here. Let's see how different we can get it. All right, so curved back. Now, you can do that same tail as David McGee, or you can do it. Sometimes I like just doing it like that. Up to you. No right or wrong. And feet, tummy, down, and then the trunk. Uh, I know, I can't remember how the mouth goes. Oh, Ruby. <laughs> how does the mouth go? Up and down. No, that looks right. Does that look a bit better? I'm not there yet. And then we do. It's all about practice. Oh, Ruby. Why does everyone's face look so human? <laughs> And that one's mouth is a bit weird, but you know what? It's all about practice. We've got bloopers in this show. Do you want me to change yeah, his mouth? It's freaking ribs out. All right, up. Is that better? Ish. He's cheeky, this one. Easier out there. And then you can either put a foot forward if they're walking, back, they have big toenails, like that. Let's stick. Oh, he's cute. I like this one. You like that one better, Rubes? Yeah. Yeah, the bottom one. <laughs> Laugh at my top one. They're all individual. <laughs> We're all different. So, let's stick some up that are different. Are you on the blue tack? Where'd you put the blue tack nib? Hop up. I think you're on. Sorry to move you, but I think you're on the blue tack. Oh, you were on the blue tack. Oh, there we go. Goodness me. Talk about lying down on the job. All right, so we've got elephant. I just had to play around with all different ones. Elephant short. <laughs> I 
had so much fun. I know elephants talk. There's all different sorts of elephants in this book. Elephants talk. A wrinkly fella. Elephants fast. So many different elephants. Just have fun, have a practice, have a play around with your elephant drawing. Elephants fast. <laughs> this is my favourite. Elephants tired. Oh yeah, he's had a big day, that one. And then we get into the elephants patterns, which we're here for today. Look at that one. I'm going to put him there. Yeah. So all different elephants I just had a play around with today. Okay, so there are two different ways that you can do it. You can draw your elephant first and then fill in patterns or you can create your patterns first and then I'm going to show you we draw the elephant on the back and cut it out and that's what these ones were these were my different patterned elephants and I'll show you how to do those so up to you so much better. and you'll create your own herd that's what a, a group of elephants are called oh, let's just keep add, adding to our elephant board I had fun doing these ones these are with watercolor very relaxing all different patterns Oh, so many elephants. All right, so the first one, let's just have a go. I love the Sharpie. Oh, Napoleon, you're not being very social today. <laughs> All right, here we go. So let's have a look. Rubes, can you see this? So let's have a go at drawing one. So Curve around, cute little tail, down for the feet, up, tummy, down. Now, I don't usually do instructional drawing, but this is just to get an idea of how to draw an elephant. And then, as I've shown you, there are many, many different sorts of elephants. And yours, everyone's is going to look different, which is fabulous and put another ear behind there because all the elephants are different there we go so your basic elephant so you can start like that with your elephant then you can use your paint or pencils and color it in i'm going to do a stripey one so you know exactly where to color in so you can do it this way there was in the story when you watch it after this a stripy one and oh all his elephants were such beautiful colors i'm a color person if you haven't noticed i don't wear much black but i love me some color and that's what david mckee likes too with all these beautiful elephants I don't know how many times I've read this story over the years, but a lot, and I still love it. So I mightn't finish this rainbow elephant, because i rather you watch the video and you spend your time creating your own artwork, instead of necessarily spending your whole time watching me now we go back to school next week so excited do you know how excited i am to have my kids back in my art room can't believe it poor ruby's got a couple more weeks she's a bit sad about that which is fair enough all right so you can do whatever patterns you want you know patterns are endless so that's one way you can do it you can do finish that or there's this way so these are ones I prepared earlier. You can paint, you can draw it. So I've got two. Let's try two. All right, so I'll put my picture there because I seem to forget. 
All right. So you fill the whole page just with a pattern. And then you draw on the back your elephant. I'm going to make this one have a bit longer legs, I think. Woo. Round tummy. Oh. Round his head. I'm going to his trunk curl this time. Fancy trunk. Most of my elephants are smiling. They're having fun. Oh no, I don't do the eye yet. Don't do the eye yet. Because we're going to cut that out. Um, and you grab your scissors. Cut your elephant out. Oh, sorry sir. Round your bottom. Oh, forgot to do another leg. Oops, put another leg in there. We're good at adapting here. Spend my half my life adapting my art. All right, and then I'll leave there. Up and around. If you're smaller, just do your best with your cutting. Doesn't matter if it's not perfect. I'm going to do that. And then curly trunks are a bit tricky to cut out. I'm going to go back and do that bit. Up. He looks weird without his ears. So weird without his ears. Oh, oh, tricky business getting in here. You might need someone else. You can always ask for help. All right. So he doesn't look fabulous yet. We need to use some of our scraps to cut out a big ear. Some of our scraps to cut out a big ear. And then we're going to glue that on. Mm, trying to see which way. Doesn't really matter. All right, stick his ear on there. And I always fold it so it sits out a bit. That's where his eye was meant to go. So give him an eye. Now you can always trace around the edge too. If you want. I won't go all the way around. You can trace around the edge. But, oh, he's cute. Do you like him, Rubes? Rubes likes him. Oh, he's cute. So much fun. We love having fun here. All right, now I had one other one. Ah, classic Elmer. All right, let's try that again. All right, we are going to curved big back. Whoa, cute little tail down for one foot. Big fat belly, another foot. Let's just give this guy a simple trunk so it's not so tricky. His mouth and down. Not so tricky. One foot there. You don't have to put the extra feet in if you don't want. Doesn't he look weird without his eyes and his ears? But fear not. We will soon fix that. Then you cut around. Again, if it's not perfect, don't worry. Rube's just... Are you watching Rube's when you're filming? Rubes had a first day back at school online learning. Oh, she jumped out of bed so excited, didn't you, Rubes? <sighs> All right. And remember, it's not going to look good until you cut your ear out. And you do the rest of the black. So I'm going to have a whole herd. You could then stick all of these on one big piece of paper if you wanted. Could even draw a background for them. All right, there he is. But remember, you need the ear out of some of the scraps. And a big ear. And then a bit of glue just on the edge. Oh, he's got a whoppery. If you really wanted, if you had enough, you could do one for the back as well. Getting excited now. But this time, glue on this side. Make a stick. A bit like that. Alright, now we need an eye. And then you have to draw your around the edge. I won't do it all. Go right around the edge. Isn't he cute? And we can add these to, I think I like that one, add these to our Alma family. So once you, if you haven't heard this story, I think most of you would, 
on this one special day every year the other elephants dress up as Alma and Alma paints himself grey. So there's all the other elephants. There you go. So you can either draw it first and then colour it in like so or do the other way around where you paint or draw the piece of paper and then cut them out. Whichever way you do it, I hope you have as much fun as I did. I had so much fun doing these today. So do you know what? Bigger kids, it doesn't matter what age you are. I'm nearly 50 and I loved it. Loved it. You can do more detail, sort of like this sort of thing, or just have fun with your colours. I love it when you send them in. So, wake them all up, Napoleon. They're all going now and you've slept through the lesson again. Are you not a fan of elephants? Do you know what? This is his girlfriend, Giraffe. I think he prefers giraffes than elephants. Do you? Are you going to say goodbye to everyone? Um, we probably won't do as many shows because I'll be back teaching. And well, hello everyone. I'm just about to show you a very special story to me. Um, Alma the Elephant was my very, very, very favourite book when I was young and I still truly love it. Now I chose to show you this video instead of reading it myself because this is the actual author and illustrator of the book, David McKee. So I thought this was really, really special to have this man read you the story that he wrote and he illustrated, so he drew all the pictures himself. So I hope you enjoy this. A lot of you already know this, but we're going to do artwork based on this today. So let's just watch this first. I'm David McKee, and I'm going to read Elmer. There was once a herd of elephants. Elephants young, elephants old. Elephants tall, or fat, or thin. Elephants like this, that, or the other, all different, but all happy and all the same color. All that is, except for Elmer. Elmer was different. Elmer was patchwork. Elmer was yellow and orange and red and pink and purple and blue and green and black and white. Elmer was not elephant color. It was Elmer who kept the elephants happy. Sometimes he joked with the other elephants. Sometimes they joked with him. But if there was even a little smile, it was usually Elmer who started it. <coughs> One night, Elmer couldn't sleep for thinking. And the think that he was thinking was that he was tired of being different. Whoever heard of a patchwork elephant, he thought. No wonder they laugh at me. In the morning, before the others were really awake, Helmer slipped quietly away unnoticed. As he walked through the jungle, Helmer met other animals. They always said, Good morning, Elmer. Each time, Elmer smiled and said, Good morning. <coughs> After a long walk, Elmer found what he was looking for. A large bush. A large bush covered with berries. A large bush covered with elephant-colored berries. Elmer caught hold of the bush and shook it and shook it so that the berries fell on the ground. Once the ground was covered in berries, Elmer lay down and rolled over and over, this way and that way and back again. Then he picked up a bunch of berries and rubbed himself all over, covering himself with berry juice until there wasn't a sign of any yellow or orange or red or pink or purple or blue or green or black or white. When he had finished, Elmer looked like any other elephant. When Elmer
Pumbaa rejoined the other elephants, they were all standing quietly. None of them noticed Elmer as he worked his way into the middle of the herd. After a while, Elmer felt that something was wrong. But what? He looked around. Same old jungle. Same old bright sky. Same old rain cloud that came over from time to time. And lastly, the same old elephants. Elmer looked at them. The elephants were standing absolutely still. Elmer had never seen them so serious before. The more he looked at the serious, silent, still standing elephants, the more he wanted to laugh. Finally, he could bear it no longer. He lifted his trunk and at the top of his voice he shouted, Boo! The elephants jumped and fell always in surprise. Oh, my gosh. Oh, golly, they said. Then they saw Elmer, helpless with laughter. Elmer, they said. It must be Elmer. Then the other elephants laughed too, as they had never laughed before. As they laughed, the rain cloud burst. And when the rain fell on Elmer, the patchwork started to show again. The elephants still laughed as Elmer was washed back to normal. Oh, Elmer, gasped an old elephant. You've played some good jokes, but this has been the, the biggest laugh of all. It didn't take you long to show your true colors. <laughs> we must celebrate this day every year, said another. This will be Elmer's day. All elephants must decorate themselves and Elmer decorate himself elephant color. That is exactly what the elephants do. On one day a year, they decorate themselves and parade. On that day, if you happen to see an elephant, ordinary elephant color, you will know it must be Elmer. <coughs> the end. Okay, now this is just a little extra fun thing that I found that David McKee also wrote and I thought it was really, really gorgeous. So let's have a little look at this. This is his little story about how to draw an elephant. And I'll read it to you. The first thing that you need to do is buy a pen or a pencil that is full of elephant drawings. Sit at a table with a piece of paper, any paper. Paper is full of all the drawings you might want. You just have to get one to appear. Whisper to the pen or pencil, Elephant, please. The please is very important. Think elephant. Put the pen or pencil to the paper and off you go. An elephant should appear. It may be a young elephant. Or an old elephant. A relaxed elephant. Or a racing elephant. Or even a sleeping elephant. Perhaps a tall elephant. A sad elephant. Could be a laughing elephant. A sunny elephant. Maybe a rainy elephant. If it looks like this or this or this, then you've been sold the wrong pen or pencil. You may want to take it back to complain or keep it as a non-elephant pen. 
the pencil. If you think your elephant looks too ordinary, you can cross it out, take some colours, say yellow, orange, red, pink, blue, violet, green, black and white, and fill in the squares. Then you have an Ella, Alma, and he isn't at all ordinary. I thought that was really super cute. Super, super cute and fun to draw elephants in different ways. I'm going to go and have a practice right now.